Tonight on fourth down on four, it's Bronco busting time for the Saints as they register their biggest win in history. And out west, the Chargers help the cause by knocking the Rams another game back. Fourth down on four is brought to you by New York Life, McDonald's, Benson Automotive World, 10K Thirst Quencher, and U.S. Agencies. Now, let's join Joe Amato. Okay, now we know what it's like to root for the Oklahoma Sooners. Saints over the Broncos, 42-0 today. Biggest win in Saints history. For Jim Mora, his 28th win with New Orleans. He's now won more games than any other coach the Saints have had. Vaughn Johnson, the Saints linebacker, is here. And Moses is here. Moses, what a day. I believe. In 1987, the Saints went to heaven. In 1988, He's going to open up the pearly gates, and we're going to the promised land, Miami in the Super Bowl. Bless you, boys. We're number one. Go, Saints, go. Thank you, Moses. Thank See you very you much. Miami. I'll be in Miami. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. All right, Vaughn. Uh, great day today. How about Moses? And uh, you really handled them so well. Uh, many were surprised. Well, I tell you, it was a big win for us, a tremendous win for us. We, we fought the whole season. You know, we've been working hard to try and put everything together. And finally today, we got the <laughs> offense, defense, and special teams rolling, and, and, and the scoreboard indicated it. That must be a great feeling when you do it all three parts of the, you know, game plan, and Jim Mora, boy, was he happy. Oh, uh, well, there's, there's, there's a right to be. You know, we feel good about the situation. Hey, we beat a very good football team today, and we're very proud of it. If you could have written it, that's the way it would have happened, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, most of the plays, everything worked today the way you draw it up on the scoreboard. And when that happens, it's a good day. Jim Mora, as we said, now has his 28th win with the Saints. He passed Bum Phillips, and here he was coming out on the field today, and he was a little hesitant about it, no doubt, because the Broncos have been to the last two Super Bowls, and they're a good team. But his 28th win, the winningest coach the Saints have had. First possession for the Saints. Bear falls down, fires to Eric Martin for the first down. And then from the two, Reuben Mays runs right, and Reuben is hot. Mays 115 yards on the day. On the Saints' second possession, they go again. Dalton Hilliard. And Dalton's a tough guy to bring down, isn't he? Oh, he's a load. He runs low to the ground. He's running extremely hard. He's a good running back. Broncos go to work. Elway escapes Toy Cook, passes to Ricky Natil. Reggie Sutton catches him. Then the Broncos go for the touchdown, and they didn't get it, Vaughn. I think this was a big lift for our defense. You know, we've been hanging in there. We said we'd give them the short stuff and give them nothing deep and it worked out for us. No points, they missed the field goal as well. He was pretty frustrated, you know, when he was throwing the ball bad, you know, early in the game. And uh, he kind of got on rhythm the second quarter, and then in the second half, he, he st you know, he was still kind of quiet. In my wildest dream, I never thought that we would, um, you know, they wouldn't score on this. You know, you just, just think they're going to score something. Second quarter, the Saints are driving. Bear winds it up. Eric Martin has his man beat. Great touchdown, 21-0 New Orleans. Here come the Broncos now. They're trying to get back in the game. Elway to throw. Ted Gregory, the guy we got from Denver. Yes, it, he was excited. You know, it was good to see Ted get in there and make a big play on those guys. You bet. Elway airs it out deep. Dave Waymer, very popular with the team, isn't he? Oh, he is. Dave's an inspiration to our team. He's one of our veteran players, and he's uh, demonstrating le leadership all year for us. Elway, 18 of 36, just 166 yards. Halftime, you guys are looking good, Vaughn. Well, we're feeling good. You know, we knew going into the game we would, it would be a physical game, a hard, tough game. But uh, fortunately, we did a lot of things great. We were able to get a nice, efficient lead on them. But uh, we didn't look at it like that. We said we're going to go in there as if it's a 0-0 zero zero coming out in the second half. 21 nothing, and then Mel Gray brings it back. It's 28 to nothing, 66-yard return. Broncos couldn't run. Vaughn, take a look at yourself here against the Broncos running game. Well, we did a good job all day against their running game. I think our defensive line played extremely well. The linebackers played good and the defensive backs. And here comes the fake field goal for the first down, <laughs> Brian Hansen, and he told us how they did it. Poker face, you know, like, oh, nothing's going on, that kind of thing. I felt uh, myself doing that when I was lining up and looking for the how they were lining up. I, I was looking at the, the two outside guys, depending on whether they were standing up or, or in, a, in a rush uh, stance. And I kind of looked at them, and I felt they were looking at me, and I tried to, <laughs> you know, I don't normally do that. So I was, I was hoping they wouldn't uh, detect anything on my face. With the first down, they go to John Tice. Bobby Aver to Tice. Touchdown, 35-0 New Orleans. Elway's last drive. A fourth and goal play coming up from the three, and the Broncos have to go for it, and uh, you wanted the zero in their column. 
Yes, uh, we've been wanting a shutout all year, and to shut a team like Defense Denver out for the whole game with a quarterback as good as John Elway, we feel as if it's an outstanding job. Saints tacked on another touchdown. Eric Martin, 42-0 the final. In my utmost imagination before the game, I couldn't foresee this, this type of thing happening, us beating them 42 to nothing. Uh, yeah, this was our best performance as a football team all year. No, no question about it. No question about it. I talked to a guy I grew up with, Thorson Mobley, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a real good friend. We grew up together, uh, and he said, hey, you guys got a great team. The offense is awesome, the defense is awesome, the special teams is awesome. Uh, you, know, you guys keep working hard and you, you guys can go. And they should know, huh? And they should know. If they are a playoff team and, you know, and they, get, and they play like they played today in the playoffs, they have an excellent chance of going to the Super Bowl. The Saints have, have good personnel and they're playing good ball right now. Shut out, baby. Nothing but a shut out. We'll take it. Yes. You know, one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember doing that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, that was at the end of the game, and uh, we were extremely happy. You know, one thing that helps today is that the offense was out there so long. Like I said, they look like the Oklahoma Sooners. Well, that gives the defense a chance to rest. Oh, going into the game, we felt as if the best defense were our offense on the field and Elway on the bench. And uh, we have to give our offense credit, the offensive line, the backs, and receiver. They did an excellent job all day keeping the defense off the field. And when we, was, when we were on the field, we made things happen. What if you had to go against uh, Bobby Hebert and Dalton Hilliard and Ruben? Uh, there's there's a diverse attack there, isn't there? That's true. They are a very good run team. They're a very good pass team. Could be a long day. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Super Bowl talk now, with uh, which is going to start, Vaughn? And I know Jim Moore just hates that, doesn't he? Well, basically, the way I feel about it is it's too early for that, you know. We have our goals set for us. Of course, that's the ultimate goal, but we feel as if the biggest game for us now would be the New York Giants coming in here. They're going to be fired up. They're going to be looking to knock us down. I think the best position that we're in now is we control our own destiny, and you can't ask for anything more. When we come back, speaking of the Giants and uh, the Rams, too, who lost today, we'll have more with Vaughn, and we'll see the Chargers upset of the Rams, and we'll see how the Giants lost when we come back. are you waiting for? It's Benson Nissan's 88 Moving Out Sale. Get a new 88 Nissan van and save $3,088. Or an 88 Pathfinder and save $4,088. Even this 300 ZX, save an incredible $5,088. Plus, see the all new 1989 Maxima. Sale price this week, only $17,995. Only at Benson Nissan. Between Causeway and Clearview on Veterans. Let's talk car insurance for a minute. Did you know that for every 10 people that call U.S. agencies for an automobile quote, eight will end up getting their car insurance there because of the price? When you call U.S. agencies, you get a customized quote that's tailored to your individual needs, like a choice of down payment and monthly payment plans. And there's more. You walk out that day fully insured with your policy and vehicle ID card in your hand. Now, isn't that reason enough to call U.S. agencies today? Well, it's another 10K season. I'll settle for 10 wins. Yeah, but you can't lose with 10K. It's low in sodium, high in vitamin C. And really quench your thirst. You mean really tastes great. No, quench your thirst. Okay, let's let the new guy decide. 10K is a great thirst quencher that actually tastes great. Let's have another. A waiter? You rang? Dale! Well, if it isn't Mr. Roundball. Thought maybe one of you guys could spare a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here going to the final four? <laughs> Come and get it. The barbecue's on at McDonald's. It's my real time. It's grilled pork swimming in that sassy sauce. A little pickle, a little onion. Lick your fingers, smack your lips. You're biting the grill, but chomp. It's like a barbecue in a bun without the bones. For a special price, but only here for a limited time. The good time, great taste. Of McDonald's, McRib, Chomp. 